Well, let me share with you the role, first of all, as Ambassador at Large for International Religious Freedom is the principal advisor to the Secretary of State and the President of the United States on issues of religious freedom. Doing so, we use all the tools that are available to me, public diplomacy, diplomacy. We have an annual report, which is called the International Religious Freedom Report, that covers 198 countries around the world. In that, we look at countries that are working well in religious freedom and those who are not. So we have an annual religious freedom report and I use public diplomacy. So part of the international trip is certainly to present and make a presence um, in terms of diplomacy, working with countries where there are pragmatic openings and being able to promote that dialogue that we have not only in the United States but to make that globally. What the United States recommends is developing legal action where there have been perpetrators of crimes, also condemning hate acts, and also vigorously defending those who have been violated. The United States does have tools and programs that are available. We have a grant program that is available throughout the world in various countries to promote religious freedom, to work against um, intolerance, and also to promote interfaith understanding. Um, it's different than USAID, for example, which are long-term projects. Many times these are short terms, and many NGOs and those who are on the ground are serving our communities around the world. And so those grant programs are available. For example, in, in Iraq, there's an early warning system where religious minorities can work with local authorities to prevent attacks, uh, sectarian attacks. Well, although the position is international religious freedom, certainly there's a role domestically. We've already begun that. We've begin to, begun to work with roundtables, religious roundtables, and the NGOs who have been working on religious freedom for several years. We've invited many to the State Department. I'm also going out to persons who have been working, whether that's NGOs, the private sector, the academic community, and we're beginning to have dialogue that's meaningful because it affects the international community. We want to thank the High Commissioner of Human Rights for inviting us to the panel uh, Combating Intolerance Against Religions. And we want to certainly emphasize the Obama administration's um, support of the resolution. We want to thank Pakistan and other countries who helped to make the consensus happen. And we want to support the ac action steps that have been proposed going forward.